When political parties call a press conference, they don't usually tell the media to meet secretly in a car park, but this wasn't going to be a usual press conference. Well, the BNP press office told us this morning that a meeting would be taking place up the road, but we found out from a tip-off it's at this pub here, and so did the protesters. You can see them arriving now, and a police wall will separate them. No eggs today, but around 50 protesters here to voice their opinion that the BNP is a racist, fascist party. But they did win their seats in the European Parliament fair and square. And with that in mind, we want to listen to what their leader, Nick Griffin, had to say. Well, the press conference is about to start, but we've been told we're not allowed to go in and we're not sure why. We think it's because of our affiliation with the Manchester Evening News. We're going to check. Can you just tell us why we're not allowed in? Yeah, because you've been told you can't come in. So Why, though? Mr Goodrick, will anyone be willing to come and give us an explanation of why we're not allowed to come in? Probably because you've printed systematic lies for the last week. We're a television station. That doesn't stop you telling lies, which you've done, so... Have you got any evidence of us telling lies? Because if you're going to say that in the public domain... No, I've been instructed not to let you in, and that's that. It emerged that it was because of our affiliation with the Manchester Evening News, who last week condemned the party. Journalists from the Daily Mirror and from the Sun newspaper were also turned away. We think it's an absolute disgrace. You're not welcome at our press conferences. As a separate entity, as a television organisation, can we not get in so that you can give your side Manchester of the story? Windows. We can't trust you. You've proven yourself to be untrustworthy. What you've done is absolute disgrace. It's a perversion of the democratic process. You know, you, this is our press conference. You're not welcoming it. Do you not think it makes us difficult to view the BNP as a legitimate party when we can't let the public see what you're putting out in your press conference? Watch it on Sky News, love. So, what did we miss? Quite intimidating, really. A lot of um, BNP members kind of littered around the audience, really. And as you can see from the, the particular members behind me, they're, uh, they're not maybe the, uh, the kindest and friendliest looking people. He claimed that uh, he was, uh, his party was not racist uh, and said that he would, in fact, uh, support particularly uh, Asian, Asian women uh, who had uh, suffered from domestic violence. As Nick Griffin, the party leader, left, one man was arrested for a public order offence after spitting at the car. Another day of drama with the BNP and another day of questions over whether paying them this level of attention is the best political tool they have. Nina Warhurst, Channel M News.